now that we have the ability to log in or log a user in, um, and we've done so, uh, proving it by outputting the value of the session that we've stored, we want to go ahead and actually detect whether the user's logged in or not so we can perhaps greet them or something like that. So we're going to do this within the constructor of the user um, object. So um, inside of the user object inside the constructor, let's go ahead and start to work out what we might need to do here. Now, if um, the user um, value here has not been defined, um, we might want to go ahead and, uh, and actually, um, well, we do want to go ahead and actually check uh, if the session exists. Um, and uh, set the fact that they've been logged in. But we need to be able to find if the user actually uh, exists or not, uh, which is uh, quite important. And we've already done that here, so we don't really need to do too much, to be honest. So what we're going to do is, in here, we're just going to say if not user. So a little bit of an explanation around why we're doing this. If we want to grab a specific user's details, we're going to use the same user object. So if I wanted to grab the user details of another user in the database, I might want to define the user's username or ID inside uh, our database object. So I might want to say, let's just imagine this was the user's profile, user, um, or sorry, user equals new user, six and what i want this to do is return the user details at user six for me not the user details uh, of the current user that's logged in so by doing that just that that's what we want to um achieve uh, in terms of just returning the current user that's logged in so in that case we want to check if the session ex actually exists so is a user logged in so if session exists uh, this session name um, we then want to say user equals session get um, this session name. So user will now equal four. So if we just refresh here, nothing's changed. We removed the last code that we worked with uh, in index.php, but we're now being returned with four anyway, or echoing four anyway. We obviously don't want to do that. What we now want to do is check if this user actually exists or not. So we want to say if this find user. Now what that's also going to do is it's also going to grab the user data. So we then will have access to the user data. Perfect. But what we now want to do is set a flag is logged in equals true. True. Okay. Now, otherwise, we want to process logout, and we'll explain a little bit more about that uh, at another point. So um, now, what we want to do is, uh, if the user doesn't have a session, uh, if the user has been defined, we want to say this find user, and what that will do is allow us to also grab a user's data of the of the user that isn't logged in. So in effect, what we could do is we could say user equals user. So this will be the current user. And this will be another user, only if we define that. So we can say another user, for example. So this will be another user. So we can, you, we can use both of these in the same way, but we're going to be picking which user we want to get. But by default, we're going to be picking the current user's details. So um, uh, what we can do now is nothing's going to appear here. But what we can, in fact, do is say things like echo user username. Uh, sorry, user data username, because we already have our data method. Uh, and that will just, um, oh, um, let's just have a look. Oh, sorry, that that should probably be a public function because we need to we need to access that. So let's take a look inside of here at the data. So public function data, perfect. So little redesign. So there we go. So that's the current user that's logged in. Now we did look um, in our user class up here at this is logged in flag, which we haven't actually created in our properties. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just say is logged in. Um, and in actual fact, let's create this as a public um, a public property so we can just uh, use this off the bat. So in that case, then what we can do is get rid of that. And we can check now if a user is logged in. Um, 
in fact it might be better as I tell you what we'll leave it as a um, we'll leave it as a private the reason being is that if we need to add any functionality into the the, the logged in check at any point we can uh, and doing that with a, a typically called a getter or a setter so a setter would set data and a getter would get data and this would be a this would be a, a getter so public function is logged in would return its only purpose is to return data but if we did need to add anything else at any other point we could just add it in here kind of thing so all we're doing here is returning this is logged in and that's it so in on index.php we create a new user object because we need to make use of this functionality we can now say if user is logged in echo logged in We'll obviously add a little bit more uh, functionality here. So we, we're now saying that we are logged in. If I were to delete the session and refresh, we're not logged in. So we've now removed the the uh, the, the the session there. And if I was to log in again, success. And if we go back to index, then we're logged in again. So we now have the ability to log in and check that a user is actually logged in or not. So if we are logged in, let's go ahead and just add a little bit more functionality in here. Uh, in actual fact, let's go ahead and add a redirect just in here because uh, we haven't quite finished off this functionality. Um, we can keep this here, but for the success, we don't really want to echo success. We want to use the redirect um, class that we created and we want to redirect to index.php. Of course, you could add a little message if you like for the session flash, but we, we won't bother doing that for now. So if the user is logged in, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to break out of uh, out of PHP, and we'll add a paragraph, just perhaps greeting the user. So we'll say hello, um, a intref. We'll create a link here for the user's name, just so we know that at some point we can we can link to the user's profile. So we'll just set that as a hash for now. Uh, but here, what we're going to do is echo escape, and we'll say user data username. Lovely. So now that we've done that, this will greet the user uh, like that, put a little exclamation mark on the end. Um, and we can also, as well, start to build up a little list of links here of things that they can and can't do. So let's go ahead and add um, a list, an unordered list here. And for the first item, we'll give the user the ability to log out. And we'll set this to logout.php, which we'll build soon. And we'll we'll go ahead and add a list of other links as well here at some point. Um, so we'll also add a, a, an else here, um, and we'll just echo out. You need to um, log in or register, and we'll go ahead and make these links. So we already have our registration functionality. We already have our login functionality, so we're just going to present a user with the ability to uh, log in or, or, or log out, uh, or sort of register, sorry. So when we, um, when we press enter now, it says, hello, Alex, and we have the ability to log out. If we delete the session and refresh, we get you need to log in or you need to register. So it's now starting to come together quite nicely now that we're introducing links here. Um, and um, we'll obviously need to process a logout as well. Uh, but for now, that's the login functionality. And uh, let's go ahead and in the next part, look at actually logging user out or allowing the user to log out.